Hey yo, welcome back! Today, I'm gonna show you guys another new game from Simon, the cool mini or not. The game is called Marvel United. This is a cooperative game from 2 to 4 players, and this game is very very kid friendly, and it's also very fun as well. And what is Marvel United about? It is about that uh, like each player will be one of these heroes, you see, on the blue miniatures here, one of these heroes, and they will fight against 3 villains. The, black, the red one, which are Resco, Taskmaster, and Ontron. And they have to win against these villains before the time turns out. So the question is, can you do that? Well, let's check it out. Let's check the overview and about the gameplay. One thing I really like from this game is the rulebook. The rulebook does an excellent job of teaching you how to set up the game and also how to play the games. Like it divided into like multiple sections, like from the players, the components, and what you can do in your turn and how you set up different villains. So the rulebook has also has a very nice quality, and as you see, they have the like multiple examples, like every page, every sections, they always have examples, show you what to do, what it means, what does each section do. So this is a cooperative game, like I said earlier. So there's no competition going on between the players. However, the players have to communicate a lot to figure out what's the best move to counter or to attack against the villains. Because the villains, like each villain, can have different way of manipulate the board. So as you can see, here are all the components of the game. So here we have like all the icons, all the tokens. Like I said earlier, the villains will add the tux to the board, or they can kill the villain, uh, the civilian as well. Another thing I like about this game is how each different characters have different power. Can you believe that? Like in this game, we all have like about 67 different heroes and they all have different unique powers and their powers are well related to the real heroes in the Marvel Universe. So as you can see, here is an, another thing that I like, all the miniatures and they come in a storage tray like this, it's very easy to store and handle them. So like I said earlier, all the characters they have unique powers and the same with all the villains and depends on how you want to play it, how you want to approach the games, you can select your own heroes and you can go and finish the mission with your friends, your families. Here are the location cards. So you see from here, it has the name, the effect of the location and as well like if this location will have a civilian or will have a tux which is the red bad guy right here. And due to many dislocation, this game has a very variable setup which makes has a very good or high replay value and here these are called the um, villain board like I said earlier there are three different villains in this game and they all have different unique there will be also a villain dashboard but that one basically just keep track of what missions that we have been doing and here are the best part the villain dashboard look at this like we all see that like they have three different villains in this game and each of the villains they have a dashboard for themselves. Each dashboard means that indicate different powers that the villain has. Like look at the BAM board right here, the BAM section. That's how the power or the unique power of each villain is. And as you can see, each villain has different way to use or utilize their power to win against the heroes. Because of that, each villain will also have different deck. Another thing that I really like and enjoy this game is there is no one person controlling the villain. Everyone will take turn to control the villain in this game. Therefore, the way the people do it will be very unique, very different. That's why this game is very different co-op, um, bring different co-op experience. And that's why it's also very fun when you play with your kids or your cousin or your niece or your nephew. Here are the deck. Like I said, each character 
we have a different deck of them. Oh, and one more thing. If the hero runs up of the card of the deck before the villains, then the villain wins the game. Of course, because the hero is out move. Well, that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video and see you next time.